Grant from The Strength Co. And today we're gonna go over our new power rack, the General 2.0. Uh, we made our first power rack a few years ago and mainly we sell it with our home gym package where you get everything from plates, the bars, the mats, all in one go. Um, and after having it out for about two years, we needed some adjustments, needed some updates, took feedback from people. And so this is the latest and greatest, the uh, newest version right here. So we'll kind of go from the ground up, talking differences and features. I have the older rack right over here in my gym. And so we'll go back and forth and kind of show you some differences. The first and biggest difference is gonna be down here at the feet. At the feet of this thing, uh, we used to have gussets that secured it to a piece of two by three steel on the floor. The goal of that was that you didn't have to bolt it down. But the feedback that we got from people is almost everyone's putting them on some type of deadlift platform or wooden platform and they're bolting it down anyway. So by reducing the two by three steel on the floor, it made the product overall lighter, which saves you on shipping. Uh, and also with it bolted down, just makes it really, really sturdy and secure, even more so than, than the old design. Um, bigger hardware down here at the bottom at the cross members, this is one inch, or excuse me, three quarter inch, um, grade five bolts, uh, washers and nuts. Um, pins and pipings are the same. The next biggest uh, change you're gonna see is the holes themselves. We originally did two inch hole spacing throughout. Um, and we found that some people had a little bit of an issue with that. Maybe they're on the bench press trying to set safeties and they, it was just a little bit off. So we went to an inch and a half and uh, did holes on the entirety of the, um, of the upright, whereas in the past, it ended about here. Um, J-hooks, pretty much the same, a little bit different. We made the, the, um, the bed here where the bar actually sits a little bit deeper. Uh, because we have the feedback we got was that some people with heavy squats would hit and then you know They'd almost come out of the j-hook. So this is deeper and the uprights a little bit taller uh, Pull-up bars are the same same diameter same bolt together design uh, And then we changed the the side panels here that say the strength code just a little bit um, Really just design stuff. So again pretty basic uh, your basic power rack that does everything you can do my recommendations for it um, would be to bolt it down. I mean, you could have this thing just sitting on the ground, but I would bolt this down. You don't have to drill in the concrete, although you can. Uh, you can just have a three quarter uh, inch plywood and just get some half inch lag bolts and just secure it. That'll do a good job. Uh, obviously, if you have thicker wood and thicker lag bolts, it'll be secured a little bit better. So again, that's the old design there. Inch, uh, two inch holes in the old platform. This thing much sleeker, much slimmer. Um, an overall better product, and uh, yeah, hope you buy from us. Get it in the whole home gym package. Get great plates, great rack, great bar, great rubber, and a great coach all in one.